Oh, here we go. And Eupocephalus. Oh, God. We've made pigs. Oh, that's cool. So when you hover over the creation lab, it tells you a percentage. Oh, okay. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back. We're trying to make sure that this tuberculosis-ridden apatosaur doesn't die. But uh, we're researching it at the moment. Um... Oh, God, the phone zone probably should have set that to silent. Oh, yep, there it is. Lovely Facebook there. <laughs> I barely go on Facebook. It's littered with meanies. <laughs> okay, let's go to... Oh, oh, or not, you know, whatever, whatever, I suppose. Uh, oh, look, there you go. Lots of stuff. Do we want more Apatosaurus now? Like, uh, uh, you know, we'll just research something else. There it is. Ready, go. There he is, go! Th this is the quickest I think I've ever seen a dinosaur die. He's also running straight next to another apatosaur, meaning that it's gonna get him sick if we're not careful. Oh, yo! Bam! Wait. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? What did we research? Oh! No, sick tuberculosis. Well, what, what are we researching with? Avian flu, tuberculosis. We've got it. Oh, did he go into the trees? Oh, did he go in the- Ah, he... Oh, he got the other one sick as well! Go away! Please don't let the- that, That's a mission critical dinosaur. Do not let that one die. Oh, just heal it quickly. We've got another one, but uh, if that dies, I'm pretty sure that means mission failed. I don't know about you. His comfort zone, 76%. There. Oh! Oh, we've done it! It's healed! Oh, thank the Lord. I did shoot it before, but apparently that didn't heal it. And this one's now running away. Please tell me you can shoot it. It's not like it's a hard target. Well, how close do you need to be to it? I'm sure, well, yeah, there we go. I was going to say, I'd be very surprised if we didn't actually cure that. Oh, well, there we go. That was close. So hello, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution. Uh, sorry. Oh, hold on. <gasps> Is it going to happen? Oh, I want to see, I want to see. Ooh, because that would be so cool. We could see a brachiosaur. <gasps> there it is. Look at it. Is it going to, is it going to eat? Oh, please tell me you're going to eat the tree. I mean, that is as close as I could get the fence. I don't think I could get it any closer. I'll try. Well, maybe I, well, let's see. How close can I get it? Uh... Yeah, it's, that's probably the best I could do. So, hopefully, maybe an Apatosaurus with its long neck would... Oh, hold on! Hold on! Hello! You gonna come too? Oh, you put the blooming tree down when that happens? Oh, well, let's go. Oh, God, there's a fence smash. Oh, you can. You know what? You can break out of there. I don't care. <laughs> I will research things until that one's made. More turtles. <laughs> Give me the turtle. Invest all the money into turtle DNA. Oh, look at him. He's, he's wants to get it. Are you going to go for it? I don't know if your, your neck can reach, though. Damn it. Can he be closer? Oh, I'm taunting him now. Now I feel mean. I'm pretty sure you can do it, though. Yeah, I can't really get much closer. I've got to be honest. And I can't delete that fence either because he's there. See, you destroyed it, but you're not too fussed, are you? Glorious victory! <laughs> if you could eat through its tail, you'd be completely fine. Well, you know what this place calls for? A clothes shop! Yokoso, that's it. She says Yokoso, and that's the Japanese word. I thought that was, um, because I was learning greetings and, and stuff like that, so, and it was something about customers as well. Um, so that's where I got the Yokozo from. I thought that was... I am... It's something like, I work here, which is, um... Oh, it's got... It's got a... R, it's got a... R, haru... Haru deimas. I think it's something like that, which means working. Um, so, yeah, that's where... That's where I got confused, originally. That, that's... That's how that came about. <laughs> oh. There we go. And then we can have... Look at this! Look at what we're doing! Oh, it's so good! <laughs> well, I kind of want to... Yeah, there you go. So we'll get that in there. Yeah, we can sort of go through there. Maybe we'll have a little fun zone or something like that. A little. It's always a bit of a shame because then you've got this and yeah, it doesn't look too nice. So maybe we can plonk something else there too. However, we do 
require the power. So what we'll do is we'll put the power next to the, uh, next to the, oh, maybe we could, I mean, we could, because we are out of range. We could put a big power thing here because we're going to need a lot of stuff. Oh, God, he would, no, he broke the fence. He wanted the feed. Well, that makes sense. Now he's apparently a threat. No, the other one's back in, but we do have the new and improved Apatosaurus to see. There it is. Doesn't have a skin though, but it lives for twice as long or something. Let's just see how the camera goes. I haven't, I usually click off it and then just do my own camera work, but uh, let's see what uh, the developers Frontier wanted us to see. Should be a lot closer, I feel. Camera's a bit zoomed out. Oh, there you go. Now it's coming into shot a bit more. Is it going to go boop? There you go. Lovely. Shoot it full of the science. I like this. I like this area, but I kind of want... Oh, oh, that'd be so cool. Oh, but you can't place the... Oh, can it not go over a building? Oh, what? Really? I'm assuming the rocks are disrupting it as well. Oh, you can place it in a, in a tree, though. Okay, that's that's not so bad, but... Oh, man, I want more trees. Give me some different types. <gasps> Will it be paid for DLC, do you think? Should we have loads of palm trees here? Look at it. Oh, we can have this as a beach, actually. Yes. And then we need to go... Can we get this one? Oh, that's, that's a bit too big. Hold on. I need to make some room. We'll delete that one. And then we'll do this. And if I rotate it, can I can I somehow fit that in? Okay, I need to delete one more. Hold on. Hold on. And then we can put put this one in. And Oh 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 I had it, I had it, I had it. Guys, did you see it? It turned blue for a second. Hold on! Come on! Yeah, there we go. Now, I think what we need to do is delete trees here. And then, go into here and make a little beachy. Oh, yeah! We can make a whole beach resort! <laughs> oh, it's a shame it doesn't really go up, but eh, you know what? That's good enough. Oh, it looks awesome. Oh, you're on 22%. You're probably going to break through and then be happy. But if you leave, you're not going to be... Bosh! And he's gonna turn around in a second. And then we've gotta keep everything happy for three whole minutes. Oh, look at that! They've changed this fossil now. I think, did it used to look like that for Kruthosaurus? I think they've updated that a little bit. <laughs> I'm getting too carried away with this. I like it! I like the whole beach thing. Except for th apparently this tree. Oh, there we go, there we go. We can have one there. Oh, there we go. We got Chinese coming in now. All the languages. Oh, yeah. Look at this. It's all a beach front up in here. Uh, we need to place a rock, actually. But a ro rocks are big. So what's the smallest one? This looks like a small one. Although it's ginormous. Well, we can kind of place one there. So there you go. So it's just a shame that it doesn't paint up to the path. Unless do you have to delete the path and then do over it. Is that how you're supposed to do it? Hold on, let's let's test this theory, shall we? So, if I was to get this path, and I was to go- Oh, no! Oh, come on! It's like a perfect green round it! This seems to be the site to go to. Cruithosaur, Ankylosaur, Triceratops, T-Rex. Only thing we're missing is uh, Apatosauruses. It should say, or it should see- I mean, obviously the path has its own terrain, and that's why it's grass. It's not thinking, okay, what's close? It's, it's just the path has- that as default. It has a grass around it, so they would have to make some sort of code that makes the path aware, or possibly even transparent. Oh, we got a T-Rex! <gasps> well, we don't have one just yet, but ooh, I think we could get one. Well, that's it. I've decided everything's gonna be beach. We're living in a beach town, kind of, except for when we when we're not living in a beach town. <laughs> oh, it looks weird. I just wish that it went up to the path. That would look so much better. As aside from this, it's a bit of a shame. Oh, did I do it? I made everything happy. But what happened to the Parasaur and the Pachycephalosaurus? They not coming? Okay. Yay! Because of us, the dinosaurs have a new home. Did we forget some. Welcome to Sanctuary. 
Well, well, well. Look at what you've done. Never a doubt in my mind. <laughs> really? Correct. <laughs> I never doubted you'd fail. But I'm glad, obviously, that you didn't. Either way, I kind of feel like I was winning. So, color me surprised. <laughs> and who doesn't like a surprise? We don't like surprises. Discovery, then. We like those, right? Y yes, discoveries. That's what we're about. Oh, look at that when I delete the grass. It appears. So let's have this all as a mountainous land. I mean, really, the terrain tools are supposed to be for the enclosures, right? That's that's really what they're about. We can definitely do... Oh, oh, there we go. Second mission. Our priority on Sanctuary should be the dinosaurs first. Everything else is secondary. Part of that focus will be on the welfare of these animals, specifically their nutrition. Ooh. Together, we are going to reintroduce them to prehistoric plant life. Oh, Ellie Sattler would be proud. With our new island comes new dinosaurs. Specifically, we are going to research and incubate a Euoplocephalus. Start by getting fossil and genome data. I see you're looking to introduce new dinosaurs to Sanctuary. A Euoplocephalus. There's a mouthful, huh? Fortunately, it looks like a herbivore, so there shouldn't be any of its mouth full of me, right? <laughs> Unless you're vegetarian. Oh, there we go. Research available. Have we done our research? Yeah, we have. That means we can research that as well. As, uh, did we get anything else? Damn it, I want that. I want it so badly. Oh, I really do. But no, we have to wait. Oh, hold on. Yeah, let's get the concrete fence as well. And can we get another dig team? We probably could get another dig team, couldn't we? Hmm, that might be worth looking into. Oh, and the fossil zone. Yes. I mean, rotate. Yeah. You should be able to do 90 degrees rotations. That would be quite nifty. Should we go here? Actually, tell you what, tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. We'll not have this. I mean, we can't really fill it with anything, can we? It's just like a gap. Sod it, sod it, sod it. I don't like it. I don't like any of this. Oh, look at that already. That looks so different. With the different trees. Oh, that's awesome. And then we can sort of make this all rocky. Um, I mean, there's loads of different types of rock, of course. But there you go. There, there's another. Oh, ooh, we'll have this one. Because it ro it automatically rotates, so it makes it a little bit different. Oh, look. I wish you could, get it. you could scale it, though. That's the difference. Oh, brings me bad memories of Mesozoic. <laughs> you could do all this, all this, all this. Give us money. <laughs> oh, I swear, guys, if I'd known, if I'd known properly, I was, I, you know what? If anything, we learn, we learn. I'm so sorry that, unfortunately, we had to learn this way. But, uh, I mean, there's, there's harder lessons to learn in life, that's for sure. I'm just glad that if I was going to learn any lesson, it was probably going to be that. And not something like, this is what happens when you go to jail. <laughs> this is what it's like. So where's your Plocephalus? Where is he? Where's little Duplo block? Not there. There he is. I thought he'd be over there. So it's Euplo. Euloplocephalus, I think. Is that showing up for you guys? I think you can see that, can't you? Midi is now in VR chat. Damn it. That's what you get when you don't update Steam's pro- Well, actually, when you update Steam and then you don't update the settings. They just change all willy-nilly. So, well, we're doing good now. We're actually sending off another dig team. But I need to see if we can actually get another dig team. Um, yeah, we can. What am I doing? And um, building upgrades. Oh, we've already reset. Wow, okay. So we can just go on to these the extractions and put up the dig yield a little bit but definitely put up the dig speed um, and in the genetics hopefully we still got enough power um, extraction speed I mean you don't really need the space do you if you make things or get things quicker right and we have the solid concrete walls now so what I want to do is make it all super secret okay so we'll have 
we'll have that old concrete here. Um, I'll keep I'll keep that so people can kind of see around it. But the rest of the fence, yeah, there we go. So it's all locked in in a secret. You'll be the sauropod secret garden. Keep that going there. And we'll have some fun. We'll definitely play around with the textures in here. Because, I mean, that's that's what we're looking at, really, isn't it? Oh, look at them. It's so big. And these, the flowers and everything. Instead of it just being like that, right? Instead of it's just grass. Now there's some texture. Um, I mean, we need to... Ooh. That would be good. If we just place this here. And then, that way, when you first take the tour... You don't see anything, then you come around and boom! Oh, there, you open up. So if we could cover. But I don't know how much that is gonna uh, hinder. That's the only thing. If we have to make a jeep path, which we definitely do. Uh, any Euplocephaluses anymore? Is that it? Nope, that is it. Keep going for the T-Rex then. There he is. Ooh, I like the little pose it had though. That was good. Right. So, more dinosaurs! Let's make some. We'll go for a trike. And we'll go for another trike. In fact, actually, hold on. We'll make it a little bit better. We'll give it a skin. Uh, oh, we don't have anything there. Um, make it brain aging. Make it smarter. Oh, no, actually, no, just make it live longer. <laughs> Is there anything else we can do with the research? Possibilities are endless, really. All the skins! Get them all! I want to see all the Euplocephalus skins. I also wonder if he's going to be exactly the same as other ankyl ankylosaurs. Like, maybe it prefers to be with other ones? Because usually they're not very social. I don't, I, I don't think this is working, really, is it? I don't think it is. <laughs> I think the only ones that can actually eat from it are stuff like Mementosaurus. So, having it there is a bit of a waste. But... Uh, what I'll do is we'll flatten this out like that, and then we'll place it in and place water around it. That's a better idea. Yep. Not too keen on this whole rocky thing here. It looks kind of like a smudge mark. Wow, I actually can't see. <laughs> because it's super dark here. Hopefully I'll brighten it up for you guys. Um, but it's super dark in the game, but it's bright. It's, I'm like right next to a window. God damn it! I can't wait to get internet in my place. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's let's have a let's have a few different views we can have from this place. So you can go here. You can view that. You can. Um, we could probably place another one. I like symmetric symmetric. I like things to be symmetrical. That's the one, James. There we go. So you can view these. Uh, we'll have a little dirt path. And I don't understand, like, why I can't place them right there next to the path. Especially this one. It needs to be so far back. Damn. That sucks. We've got we've got all the tools now. Except for now we're being hindered. Hopefully, hopefully a patch will fix that up. Because I'd love to... Look, like, I'd love to place it really close. But I, I, I guess I know that trees don't grow too close to a path, so maybe that makes sense. Oh my god, have I spent all our, all our money? I think I may have spent all my money on, <laughs> on decorative trees and sand. Guy's gotta do what a guy's gotta do. Gotta go shopping! Don't let me loosen being cure Ikea! <laughs> yeah, that looks awesome now. Then we've got the little secret garden area here. It's just bringing the park a little bit to life. Uh, although, uh, I don't really like that. No. It's too close to things. They look too near. No, too green. It, it would work, though. If you could have the sand up to the path. That definitely would work. Oh, look, we're in a tropical, tropical resort. Can they see things? What, what can they see? Let's have a look. View of the dinosaurs. Oh, yes! They can see everything. Oh, God. I've probably got... Yep. I've, oh, no! Poor bugger. Well, we'll release you. Oh, what am I doing also? Damn it. Just put that in and I've got success ratio, I think, 
Yeah, 2.0. And we might as well increase the hatchery capacity. We don't really need speed. So, with that in mind, let's keep on making some dinosaurs. Because that's 62% plus the 40. So that means that they have a 102% chance of, uh, of being successful. Which I think is a 100% chance. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> that rock that looks like it's okay. Nope. Gotta go. Oh, that's kind of annoying. They've put, like, good trees <laughs> on the island just generally. So if I'm wanting to just make a path through, I can't just delete them. I have to exit out. That, that, that's when you need P to be the hotkey for path. There's one thing you can take from JPOG. It's that. Uh, and you know what? Let's let's make this super pretty. Yeah, look, even more. Eh, maybe maybe not too much grass though. We'll we'll get rid of this for the time being. Oh wow, it even gets rid of the little blades of grass. I didn't even realize. What would be good? Vibrant. What's a vibrant patch? Hmm. Eh, I like to stick to just just grass. That's nice. Sorry, just sand. I want to plant some trees with somebody. I want to see the palm trees with somebody. With somebody who likes Jurassic World. <laughs> yeah, we'll stop. We'll never do that again, guys. Don't worry. It's not coming back. It's not going to be a thing. There we go. See? We've got a lovely view. This should this should have been the beach pack. And they, they should have... You know, that. I think that... It's nice that we've got a taste of a little bit of everything. That's quite nice. But I also would have liked a beach pack that just focused entirely on um, just, you know, one specific terrain. And you had different types of sand, different rocks, beach rocks. You know what I mean? That would have been quite nice. Um, it's also a bit annoying that they can't be placed inside each other. I get it. I do. Oh, God. Have we, we've lost sound again. I don't know how this keeps happening. I need to exit out and back in. And we have sound again. <laughs> Come on, you Bocephalus, you can do it. Just getting loads of this damn T-Rex, though. See, I have to click about three times in order to set it off. Damn. Oh, T-Rex is on 82%. How are the trikes doing? Oh, they're done. Trikes are done. There we go. Now, what's the most pickiest thing in here? Ankylosaur? Oh, populations. It's getting there. It's getting there. Oh, I forgot to give you a name, buddy. Nublar Scab. Because <laughs> he looks a bit scabby. Don't think the Carithosaurus will have any problems. No, they're completely fine. So I, I want to um, like have this as a blocked off area. Um, so we could, tell you what, if we get a path coming from here... Ah, okay. So if I do this, I mean, it might not be 100% straight, but it's definitely pretty darn... Oh, no, it is a lot thicker, actually, isn't it? Yeah, is that it? Is that the best? Ooh, there, there we go. Okay. And that's how you do a custom thick path. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. If only we could have music speakers like in Zoo Tycoon. They could be pumping out and then you could select tracks. So you could do beach vibe, danger vibe and stuff like that. That would, oh man, just so many things. Well, maybe we'll get it with Jurassic World Evolution 2 or something like that. Who knows? If it is a 2, because I think, wasn't there something about a first person Jurassic World game coming out like a survival which, to be honest, I'm all for. I, I would actually rather have that than another Jurassic World Evolution, because we've already we've already got Jurassic World Evolution, you know what I mean? I'd rather have something different. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there you go. Coli sword, if that ever pops its ugly head, eh? Uh, so, let's... Uh, I guess what you could do is do that and then... Yeah, I suppose that's, that's like the best way of doing it, isn't it? To try and get it sort of straight. So there, and then you can have when it looks cool like that. It's all became about the aesthetics. <laughs> it's like, oh, this looks good. Let's do this. But I guess if I cordon this off a little bit, that's good. Because then I can, I can sort of build outside. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm spending way too much money. We've only got 600,000. <laughs> I'm getting too carried away making this look good. And then, in this bit... Because this, this is... Yeah, we could... Oh, no, 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 no. We could just make it all thick tree. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm too excited. I'm having too much fun with this. Too much. God, what's that tree doing? He thinks he's a weeping willow of some sort. Oh, did we do... Oh, we got more. More sharks, more bats, more science. And... Oh, is that trike? Ah, is that Yupo? Yes, it is. And Yupo, please. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we can definitely make a 65 rating. Okay, let's check its social. This will be interesting. Two to six. Wow, it is picky. Damn. Okay, and we can't change that. Or at least we can't change it right now. So... That's not too great for us, because he's only going to be happy in a place where he's by himself, really. Like, two to six. So, he need there needs to be two of them, and there needs to be a six. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's already six done. Uh, oh, no, that's social. Sorry, that's social. What, what was it? Sorry, I, I forgot. I was looking at the wrong one. So, there needs to be two of them, and there needs to be 15. So, actually, he's going to be okay in there. Guys, I've just had an amazing idea. Oh my god. <laughs> I am way too excited about this. Only problem is, I'm wondering if I'll have to delete this path. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Actually, well, I'm not going to delete the path. So what I'm going to do here is... So the jeeps and stuff will come out through here, right? So this is like a highway. And they'll need to go into this enclosure. So what we'll do is we'll have a sort of highway through the park... Uh, and we'll have it cordoned off by fences and stuff. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah! Okay, it's taken me ages, but I've done it! <laughs> Finally sort of fixed this area. Good God. Um, now the only problem is... Oh, I've just realized I now need to have an access into here! You fool! And then... Ah! <laughs> anyway... It has been 48 minutes, bloody hell. And I still have not, not yet created my Eupocephalus. I'm sure 20 minutes of that is just gonna be cut because it's just gonna be me trying to do, <laughs> trying to uh, fix that whole area. Oh God. Well, at least we got loads of money. Two Eupocephaluses. So we'll have an arid pattern. Uh, we'll have the, uh, is it the step? We'll have the step pattern. Uh, for, because they're completely fine, actually, um, we'll have a regular pattern as well. And we should almost... Yep, there we go. That took off That took off the edge off. And we've got... Ooh, what's this? Tapeworms. Ooh, that's something I don't think we actually have researched. Ooh, dear. 200,000 research tapeworm. Things now have that anyway. Good God. Well, that's, that's not... Tapeworm's not lethal. Although, this Triceratops is um, begging to differ. <laughs> He's dying from tapeworm. And, might I add, at quite a substantial rate. Come on! Can we not open donations? Yes! There we go. Whoo! There's all my money gone. So these guys have 73 rating, 73, 65. So, yeah, they've all got over 65. Hopefully it doesn't ask me to make more Eupocephaluses. I really hope not. Oh, T-Rex is right. We could put him in here, actually. T-Rex would be happy to be in here. And then we can have the Jeep tour with them. Oh, wouldn't that be fantastic? <laughs> oh, that's it. That's what we're... That's my goal. Oh, God, it's almost dead from tapeworm. Please heal him. He's too expensive to heal. We're in debt. How did that happen? Oh, give me them fossils. We're going to sell them all. Private collectors. Like Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt or something. They've, they actually own fossils, I think. Uh, do we need... Yeah, okay, let's sell it. Awesome. Um, we're, yeah, it's, it's such a shame because you see these celebrities and uh, they're very proud that they own actual dinosaur fossils. Um, I can't remember who else actually owns some. It's, uh, it's very odd. But museums and that hate it because they aren't allowed, you know, because... They don't get to research it and, you know, they might be able to learn stuff from that fossil that, um, you know, it doesn't exist. But, uh, no, private collectors keep them. It's a bit of, and they won't let them, you know, see them or whatever. It's, uh, it's a bit of a shame. 
So he's, he's, he's medicating, but now he will vaccinate as well. Please don't die. Oh, it's Nublar Scar Scab as well. Don't die of tapeworm, buddy. You can do- Oh, here we go. And Eupocephalus. Oh, God. We've made pigs. <laughs> oh. Very pale. Wait, is this the, is this the wetland? Or the step? That doesn't look like any of the, the above. God, he's very close, isn't he? Yo, oh, he's like a little puppy dog. Welcome. Hi. Now make sure our new friend is comfortable in her enclosure. I'm gonna make more, don't worry. Oh, the very dark one. This must be the wetland, right? Because I think wetland are the ones that are very dark, or very green. I've chosen the perfect time to, to uh, show this in the dark. <laughs> Oh, I like that. That's cute. That's a better angle. I like that one. And, oh, it's lonely, but it won't be lonely for much longer. And the last one, this should be the regular. Yeah, yeah, we've seen that from the, um, the, was it the species profile? Well, actually, we never had a species profile. Um, or at least, uh, not yet. Because I'm recording this when the game is still not out yet. <laughs> Come on, something, don't die. Don't die, whatever it is. What What also has hookworm, tapeworm, whatever you want to call Oh, God. All of these guys have it. So what we need to do is uh, add scheduling. That would help. Oh, population's too high for Ankylosaurus. Oh, buddy, I'm so sorry. You just had tapeworm and now you're unhappy because it's overcrowded, apparently. Well, I'm gonna have to sedate you and... Oh, no. I can't put you in with the T-Rex, if that's the case. Because you'll get eaten. Oh, we need a little enclosure for it. Where could we put it? Let's have a look. All right. Oh, 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 hello. What's this? Pelibotany? Go, oh, can we make a greenhouse? Oh, look at them. Sharing a fruit salad. We are going to provide our herbivores with some species of plants that were native to them during their first time on Earth. To do so, we need to start by building a greenhouse. Then, we research the plants and grow them. I hope you have a green thumb, because these plants will provide a more authentic diet for our herbivores. It's a branch of research called paleobotany, and it could possibly be the very breakthrough we've been looking for to best care for our animals. Oh, so in addition to managing the lives of extinct creatures brought back from the dead, we're now gardeners too, right? Well, we've successfully got rid of tapeworm. That's good. And we're now going into the new bit of this. Oh, God, how much does that cost? 200,000! Well, we got poor, poor, and we got... Horse tail. Oh, they cost 300,000 each? Oh, no wonder we've got no money. <laughs> right, well, there you can. I have a greenhouse. And no doubt that's not going to be cheap either. Also, Ankylosaur, I'm going to have to move you for a bit, okay? Because I don't want you breaking out. Ooh, 100,000 T-Rex. Uh, may as well get that. And get that. Yeah, and that should be that done. Okay, time to send them off again. Hoo-yoop. <laughs> 400,000 for a greenhouse? Jesus. All right, Mr. Ankylosaur, in you get. I've got to make him a bloomin' feeder as well. I forgot about that. How much is that going to cost me? Oh, wait. What's this? Is that a ground paleo feeder? How much is that? 300,000. How much is this? 150,000. Yeah, you can have this one. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice place. You can put it there. Oh, nighttime beach. Not bad. So we need to construct that greenhouse. 
No, it should be in operation, shouldn't it? Should be, should be behind here. Uh, ooh, ooh, only problem, we've got this huge tree. Do we get money for this? Oh, you do! Oh, well, that's nice. Right, okay. So we're gonna have this over here, or should we? Yeah, that'll do. It's out of range, unfortunately. But it's not bad, because then we can delete this one. Um, and then... Add the huge power station behind! In fact, we'll make sure that we, we place it in a way that's best. So place it here. So we're just clipping um, the what you call it. We're just clipping, is it the genetic research? Yeah, we're just clipping that. Um, we'll have that there and then boom! All we need now is a little bit of a bath. Okay, poor, poor. Oh my god, plant 200,000! Okay, oh wow, look, preferred by Ankylosaurida, uh, Stegosaurid, uh, Ceratopsid, Iguanodon, oh, and then you got Harmful, right. So, the reason why you want to do this is um, because, oh my god, 400 freaking thousand, you kidding me? Oh, we need to research mosses. Um, if you have the, this feeder in the enclosure where the dinosaurs like it, um, it actually improves their life or their lifespan. And maybe you get better ratings, possibly? I don't know about that, but I know you get more life. You get more... Well, they live for longer, I think. So, no, we want pity botany. Is it mosses? I think it's mosses, isn't it? Is it? Have we already done mosses? Oh, we did! Oh, look at me! Look at me go! Oh, okay. Oh, can we... So once we grow it, is that it done? And we don't have to do it again. Or do we have to have another stock one ground paleo fitter with these plants? Why is it called greenhouse two? When I never made one. Oh my god, that plot thickens. Oh look, yay! They're here! While well, the sun rises. Look, they're having a little bath. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, my little secret garden. Alright, time for the last one then. And that is... Aha, here it is. Capacity plant done. And mosses. So there it is. And that's 200,000. Right. So, oh, what was moss actually? Moss is good. Ankylosaurida. So, yeah, we'll place this super crazy expensive paleo feeder here for the ankylosaur. Uh, and we'll also uh, delete this guy because he doesn't need this anymore. Wait, what? Requires setup. Oh! So we'll have that. We'll have that. And then give it a second. And we'll uh, do the mosses as well. Oh no, is it going to say, actually, have the Eupocephalus eat it? <laughs> it's going to say that, isn't it? It's going to say that. Come on, crystal maze. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Gotta make the plant so they can eat it now. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Da -da. <laughs> uh, range action required. Range team is required to stock it. Oh, that's fine. Ah, <gasps> I can do it. And I can test my new highway. Hold on. Ah, got this. Oh god, look at. Oh, that's a bit steep, isn't it? We need to flatten that down. Oh god. Oh wow. There's a gap in the fence as well. How did I not see that? Oh, bam! Yo! And straight through. Oh, I'm so proud. Right, Eupocephalus, I'm sure you're going to have to eat from it, aren't you? It's like, take a picture of the Eupocephalus eating from it. Oh, this is cool. Oh, look at the Brachiosaurus. Hello. Wabash. Okay, what does it look like? Oh, it's coming up. Oh, you can't have this. This isn't for you. There it is. Stock one ground paleo feeder with these plants. Hold on a minute. It's only got one! Modify feeder. I wanted both. Yeah, all of them. Confirm. Damn it! <laughs> oh, where do you think you're going? Hold on, hold on. You're gonna turn around, mate. Drift! Drift! Stop your drift! <laughs> there we go. Woo now we have the plants. We need to find the correct nutritional balance for each dinosaur. If we get it right, the results should speak for themselves. 
My second wife was big into the whole healthy lifestyle thing. <laughs> Always getting me to eat some green food or other. Which was usually disgusting. And needless to say, our marriage didn't last long. <laughs> the moral of my tale? Give the dinosaurs what they like to eat. Simple. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to move all of the Eupocephaluses into this place. God damn it. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to leave this here because I've been recording for over an hour. And this is probably going to be a half an hour video. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like. And until next time, what wonders await us in the paleobotany world? I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Is this question me and Lala?